Now here's the story a lot of people you've been talking about, an important follow-up. Tarika McAllister shot an intruder in her home in Harnett County. We've been reading your messages and we hear you. A lot of you are afraid to come in, in come face to face with an intruder in your home. Experts say there are ways to protect yourself. And in this case, the Harnett County Sheriff says McAllister did the right thing. WR's Leslie Moreno spoke to a firearms instructor who explains the steps that you can take to be prepared for the worst. On Tuesday morning, a 29-year-old woman in Dunn fired her gun for the first time after a man broke into her house. I took action and I'm very proud of myself that I stood up for myself as a woman. The Harnett County Sheriff says she did the right thing. We can't always be there to protect you. Uh, we have 137,000 population and 650 square miles and only 10 deputies at one time. Sheriff Wayne Coates says a firearm is the best form of protection for women, but education in practice is key. So we went to the experts. First thing, you're left right-handed. Right. So you're going to... Dylan Cole is a firearms instructor. Finger off the trigger at first. You're going to clasp your other he hand He walked around. me through how to Stack properly hold a firearm. Now, you're going to start here, and then you're going to press out towards your target. That's your it can be hand. intimidating for women who have never fired a gun, but it's important to take a course and get comfortable with holding one. Just a little lower, so you don't hurt yourself there. Uh, just point and shoot? Mm-hmm. A conceal and carry first requires a gun safety class, a background check, and then you can purchase. A process that takes anywhere from four to six months. So if a man my size is coming after a woman and they're only 130 pounds, I'm 250 pounds, I have an advantage in that alone. That was Leslie Moreno reporting. Now, if you're interested in getting a firearm, there's a lengthy process, so the sooner you do it, the better. Cole recommends to keep your gun on you or in the room that you spend most of the time.